going everybody? My name is CQ and today we are reviewing the Hammond Collection Echo Triceratops and the Amber Collection Dilophosaurus. I got the Triceratops for Christmas and the Dilophosaurus as well. I just got her for because I had enough money. So without further ado, let's begin the review of these three figures that I have in my collection. Now, this figure, it only came with two accessories. It is this and the piece for its neck. It doesn't have any spitting accessory like the Hammond Collection one. The, now, there's a difference between these two, actually. I'll be happy to pull up an image between these two. Now, as you can see, the Hammond Collection holds the small figures of the dinosaur. Even though we do have a repaint due to the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park, unless I'm wrong, and it's not the 30th, but please correct me, though we have a new design for the Dilophosaurus, which I'll pull up now. As you can see, it looks like that with Steven Spielberg himself, so. But with this figure, to me, it does have a, it does have good articulation, but it doesn't have any articulation on the wrist. You can easily remove this, so, yeah, that's one good thing. It's easy to come off as well. So, you can even open his mouth, close it, and his head up and down. Yeah, you can't do it too easy. But, I will recommend you should get this figure if you want it, though. Or if you just want the big figure. But, the big figure, I did have a bit of an issue because you have to take off the head. So, yeah. And I do not like taking off my figure's heads. So yeah, anyway, let's compare him, shall we? Here he is right next to Glamrock Freddy. Here he is right next to Son Goku. So yeah, he's pretty short, but still a good figure. So, it's a B plus. Now, here's the Triceratops from Jurassic Park that, uh, well, I do have a bit of an issue with this figure. So, no, I mean, yes, he can move his head up and down, side to side. He can move his legs up and down, they're articulated as well. And of course, as I forgot to mention in the Dilophosaurus review, some half the tails have been wired, but I don't know if he does. But I do see what Spino's review with this figure. This figure is sort of a letdown. Because in the prototype of this thing, it was supposed to have swivel on the on the side. Now it would have been so cool. And what's even dumb with all with this figure is that the mouth doesn't even have a hinge joint, which means you can't move its mouth up. like at all. You can't move its mouth like you can do with the Ankylosaurus. The only pose you can get him in is in the sick pose from the movie. So yeah, I guess you could say this thing is a brick, but. Don't get me wrong, I love Triceratops. It's one of my most favorite dinosaurs since I was a kid. And of course, my character is part Triceratops due to the horns, even though people might confuse that to think he's a demon or a bull. But, do I recommend this figure? Mmm, a maybe, but if you like Triceratops, I recommend you should get this if you like it. Or get the Mattel figures. Or heck, even get the freaking Mesozoic Beast. You may have to sell a kidney for that one, though. Yeah. But I still love Triceratops. It's been my favorite since I was a kid. But I do like the detail that they did on these characters and on the dinosaurs. So, anyway, let's compare his size. Here he is right next to Glamrock Freddy. And here he is right next to Son Goku. And here he is right next to the Sonic figure from Sonic 2. Yeah, yeah, he's a big figure. And the reason why I put him right next to him is because he can't stand on his own, sadly. So, yeah. For this figure, it's a uh, D. Uh, in between a D. In between a D. So, yeah. Uh, either a D plus or a D minus. So, yeah. Here we have is the repaint Velociraptors. And yes, I am planning on getting these more often because I love the Raptors from the series. 
because, you know, I love the movies and everything about them. So, yeah. But I will say one thing, though. As I said earlier, this is a repaint of the first design of the Raptors from Jurassic Park. The same model, but it's just in a different paint scheme. I mean, hold on. Let me give you an example. Here we have Bonnie Bunny from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And of course, and here we have his tie-dye Bonnie. As you can see, these are basically the same models. Both have the same upper teeth. And both are the same color. But this one is tie-dye colored. And yes, I have all the FNAF figures except for the Nightmares. And the rest of the Sister Location ones. And as Echo can tell, <laughs> she's shocked about this because she's a repaint. So yeah, these are repaints. In case y'all didn't know. Literally just the same design, but with a different color. So, yeah. The only accessory that she came with, as you can tell, and as you can already see, she has this that is straight up in the movie from Jurassic World from the cameras. So yeah. Yeah, so now, we'll compare her. Here she is right next to Sonic Size, and here she is right next to Glamrock Freddy, and here she is right next to Son Goku. Yeah, also a big figure. And also I forgot to mention, the claws, the toe claws have articulation. Genius. But also, we do not have a small version of all the rappers. Like for example, when we only have the male and the female from Jurassic Park 3 at the Amber Collection. This is a Hammond Collection, where these things are big. The Hammond Collections are the big ones, and the Amber Collections were the small ones, like the Dilophosaurus. Yes, it did have raptors, but it only had the male and female, and also the original raptor itself. So, yeah. Well, that's all there is today for this little girl. So, what do I say about Echo? A C plus. Because it's a repeat. So, yeah. Well, that's all the dinosaurs I have in my collection. Soon I will do Godzilla, Sonic the Hedgehog, and of course, Five Nights at Freddy's. So, I'll be ready for those. And I'll see you guys in the next one.